Alice, you were part of a delegation that came down to Sydney from Arnhem Land to take a message to an oil and gas company by the name of Polter Petroleum. What was that message? Our message, um, what we said to Paltar Petroleum was that we were saying no to their um, to the exploration of oil and gas in Maningrida and all across the Arnhem coastline, offshore. Um, we came with a strong message saying we we want them to withdraw all their applications. They put in over 40 applications to um, to get permit to explore for oil and gas, and we just said, look. We've come here, we've come all the way from Maningrid and we're asking you to withdraw those applications and we're standing here, we've sent our objections and we're saying no. And what are your objections? What are the things that you are concerned about? Our main concern is, um, first of all, talking to our family and our people and the TOs around Maningrid and all around you know, the regions you know, in the waters. We're talking about sacred sites. It's the first thing that our people are worried about because if they get damaged, our people will get sick. We've got a lot of fresh water, spring, fresh water springs that come through. Second of all, we, um, the, the food, you know, it's our food source in the water. We go fishing and hunting, there are hunting and fishing grounds. It's right in our backyard. And we can't have the, the risk of pollution and, um, you know, damaging our environment and the water and the ecosystem. You know, we don't want to get sick and our old people are worried about that. What rights uh, does the current land rights legislation give you uh, to negotiate with companies that are trying to do offshore well, because oil and it's, gas exploration? Because it's offshore, there's, um, the Land Rights Act only goes to the low tide mark, so that's where it stops, and then everything in the water, they say we don't have any, any rights over the sea. That's another thing we came to, you know, we want sea rights. You know, our song cycles and our song lines go through that water from the land into the sea. Thousands and thousands of years old. That Land Rights Act is only 40 years old. How strong is the feeling in the community? Is the community united around the this The community issue? is united. And, you know, like, we, we're, we've been having a lot of sorry business, deaths in the community, ceremonies, lots of funerals, you know, dealing with family stuff and also under the intervention, all the social issues, education and health. You know, we're already, you know, struggling enough as it is, and let alone this big mining oil and gas company coming in. We don't need that. You know, we're trying to look after our people, setting that mess sending that message out to our mob. And yes, we have been talking a lot that we had a big awareness day last year in December. We had a few hundred people all come gathered together and spoke strongly and we had bands come together and everyone united painting our hands blue and just talking about our, our sea. So Order. did you get, um, what sort of response did you get from Polter? Did you get any joy from your meeting with them? Um, I wasn't too confident that, you know, they were, they were listening to us. They're just business people. They were, you know, um, they said if we, if we withdraw our, our applications, another company is going to come in. And we said we don't care because we will tell them the exact same answer. We'll say no. How are you going to win this campaign? Well, um... From the support, we've had amazing support down here in Sydney and, um, you know, through sharing awareness and letting everyone know, and especially from the communities, that's where we need everyone on the same page all together, fighting this fight together, saying no, that's how we will win, the voices from our people.